Welcome back, everybody, to the Movie Trivia Challenge. This is the Singles Division. I'm your host, Hunter Man Challenge. Tonight, we have a battle between Sandy, the Sandman Robinson, and Russell Howell. Guys, this is going to be a great match. Guys, let's get into the instructions right now. Introducing first, he is the Sandman, Sandy Robinson. How's it going, man? Yo. You and I have need to like talk after because I've got like like some serious wrestling shit that I need to get off my chest. So, uh, but you know what? This is about movie trivia, not about wrestling. Whatever the hell is happening with wrestling right now, I don't even know what's going on. But you're the man. You're the man that I'm going to come to for for all that information. Uh, I'm doing great, brother. I, I love being back. I mean, I gotta you know give you a bit of shit here, like me, you know, putting me up against my partner twice like <laughs> what the hell seriously <laughs> we've had more matches against each other than we have had as a team um you know so no whatever man i mean this is great uh you know how much i love playing here i love the format i love how everything works and it's my partner so if i lose my partner wins if i win his partner wins so you know what we're just gonna have a lot there of you go uh, yep, it's all about fun talks when you have run more works. It will be 60 seconds on the clock to do a speed round. Eight questions to answer. Four from your strengths, four from Russell's strengths. Uh, you mm -hmm. have unlimited skips. So after we go through all eight questions, if we have time left on the clock, we will come back to the skip questions. The clock will not start to after finish asking the first question. You cannot use your extension or your challenges in this round. Then we will come back to round number two. You understand? You got it, buddy. If you're ready, we will start with the very first question. <clears throat> <gasps> okay. What actor played both Frankenstein's monster and the mummy in the original movies? Um, I will say Boris Karloff. Who directed Escape from New York? Oh, uh, ah, pass. Give me, I'll remember. The movie Foxcatcher is about what sport? Wrestling. <clears throat> Who stars in the 1984 baseball film The Natural? Uh, Robert Redford. What 1999 mystery film stars Tommy Lee Jones and Ashley Judd? Oh, uh... Ah, uh, pass. What 2015 film stars Alicia Vikander and Oscar Isaac? Ooh, uh, the mom... Uh, no, 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 pass. Shit. What 2001 film won the best Oscar in 2002? The Pianist. What ne What is the name of the VR world in Ready Player One? The Oasis. There you go. All right. So. Uh, I ran out of time, did I? Yeah, you ran out of time. Shit. All right. So we will take Sandy out and bring his opponent right now. And his opponent. He is the notorious Russell Howell. How's it going, man? Good, man. Uh, glad to be here. Uh, looking forward to playing Sandy again. I mean, it seems like that's the only person I ever play anymore. Um, Sandy did but, the exact same thing in his promo. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, it, it's always a good time. I mean, we're you know teammates in the team division, too. So this is this will be fun. I'm looking forward to this. There you go. I'll explain to you how random one works. 60 seconds will be on the clock to answer eight questions. Four from your strengths, four from Sandy's strengths. Uh, you have unlimited skips, so if we have time at the end of the clock, we will come, or at the end of all eight questions, we will come back and uh, ask you the skip questions. Uh, you cannot use your extension or your challenges in this round, then we'll come back in round number two. All right, clock will now start to after finish asking the first question. You understand? Yep. All right, so ready to go. Here we go. What actor played both Frankenstein's monster in 1931 and the mummy in 1932? Boris Karloff. Who directed Escape from New York? John Carpenter. The movie Foxcatcher is about what sport? Wrestling. Who stars in the 1984 baseball film The Natural? Uh, Kevin Costner. What 1999 mystery film stars Tommy Lee Jones and Ashley Judd? 99. Uh, Double Jeopardy. What 2015 film stars Alicia Vikander and Oscar Isaac? Uh, Ex Machina. What 2001 film won the Best Picture Oscar in 2002? 2002. What was that? What's, what, repeat. What 2001 film won Best Picture in the, at the Oscars in 2002? Uh, Beautiful Mind. 
What is the name of the VR world in Ready Player One? Oh, shit. I, I have no idea. Pass. Alright. What is the name of the VR world in Ready Player One? Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> the... I don't know. Uh, the, the grid. I, I, I don't remember. The grid? Alright. That is the end of your time. We will now bring in Sandy and have a score update and the answers right now. Alright, guys. So, at the end of... Round number one, we have Russell in the lead with six, Sandy behind with four. I will go ahead and give you guys the answers to the questions. What actor played both the Frankenstein's Monster in 1931 and the Mummy in 1932? Boris Karloff. Who directed Escape from New York? John Carpenter. The movie Fox Catcher is about what sport? Wrestling or amateur wrestling? At least we got that one right. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Who stars in the 1984 baseball film The Natural? Robert Redford. What 1999 mystery film stars Tommy Lee Jones and Ashley Judd? Double Jeopardy. What 2015 film stars Alicia Vikander and Oscar Isaac, Ex Machina? What 2001 film won the best picture in 2002, A Beautiful Mind? What is the name of the VR world in Ready Player One? It is the Oasis. All right, so it's four going into round number two, which works like this. The movie quotes around both Russell and Sandy. He gave me two movies or a set of movies that they want to hear a quote from. Going to two quotes, the character and the actor who said the quote. You get one right, but miss the other. Your opponent can steal for one point. You miss both of them, your opponent can steal for up to two points. You understand? Yep. So since uh, Sandy is behind, we will start with him with his questions. Yay. Your first quote or your first movie you picked was Ready Player One. And your quote is, people need to spend more time in the real world because it's just like Holiday said, reality is the only thing that's real. You just want me to give you the character? Character and the actor. And the actor? Mm-hmm. Okay, give me, give me just, give me a second. No worries. It's, um, it's Parzival. No. I've not finished my answer yet. It is Wade Watts. And Ty Sheridan. That is correct. I would have accepted Wade Watt or Parsifal as the correct answer. Good pull. Same person. All right. We are tied 6-6. Six, six. Going into your second movie, which is Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan. Oh, boy. <laughs> and your it's quote you. is... Don't worry. I'm not going to steal anything. I've done far worse than killing you, Admiral. I've hurt you, and I wish to go on hurting you. No, oh, it's Ricardo Montalban as Khan Noonien Singh. That is correct. Nice. And you gotta say it in the way I've done far worse than kill you, Jay. I'm sorry. I've hurt. The only impression I'm gonna keep I can do on. okay is is Shatner doing his con his con scream. <laughs> Khan! Nice. <laughs> All right, Russ. We will go to you for our uh, you next with your movies. Would you pick Ghostbusters, nineteen eighty four? I mean, that's a safe choice. We'll see. This will probably be something off the fucking wall here. <laughs> and your quote is: <laughs> "You're always so concerned about your reputation." Einstein did his best stuff when he was working at a as a patient clerk. Uh, that's uh, Bill Murray, uh, Doctor Peter Vagman. That is correct. Two points. Ties it up. 8-8. Eight, eight. Nice. And your second sleep. movie is What About Bob? It's all Bill Murray, man. It's, uh, it's all Bill Murray. It's our bread and butter. What about Bob? You Hopefully. got it. Here. Why are you always wearing black? What is it with you and this death fixation? Oh, that's uh, Dr. Leah Marvin, uh, played by Richard Dreyfuss. Let's talk to his son. That is correct for two points. Nice. And the lead is back where it belongs. I was worried because of the fact that, like, I'm like, I've used these movies enough and we're running out of quotes. I'm like, shit, it's going to be like some side character doing these quotes. I'm like, ugh. I, I never try to go where you cannot at least guess what the the at least the actor is. I'm not going to... I wasn't worried about Ghostbusters because you have so many people to choose from in that one. What about Bob's kind of singular down to it's either Dreyfus or Murray? I mean, kind of... Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so, guys, it's now 10-8, going into the fifth bonus question, which works like this. Both Sandy and Russell will write down four possible answers in a random category. We need the character, the actor, the movie, and the release year, each worth one point apiece, alright? Character, actor, movie, and release year? Yep. All right. Uh, and your 
your bonus comes in the category of dramas. And your quote is, I was there to push people beyond what's expected of them. I believe that's an absolute necess necessity. Necessity. There we go. I can't speak today. 60 seconds on the clock. Let me hear that quote again. Yeah. I, I stumbled over it. So this will be a free one. I was there to push people beyond what's expected of them. I believe that's an absolute necessity. God, it sounds so fucking familiar. I know. I'm really going to hit myself in the head on this one because I feel like I should know this one. Ah, uh, bloody hell. I'm just going to go with what I think it is. <laughs> I don't even have a guess, so... <laughs> I'm trying to think. Yeah, I, I can't... I can't even, like, rationalize it, I guess. Oh, man. Sounds so familiar. Alright, I'm completely wrong. Yeah. I got nothing, so go ahead. I, I, I can't even, I can't even put a guess in there. Four, three, two, one. Pins down Russ, anything? I got nothing. I'm going to be so pissed because I, I know this quote sounds so familiar. I'm literally 100% positive that I'm wrong. Okay, so I chose that the movie was A Few Good Men, that it was Jack Nicholson who made the quote. His uh, name is uh, Commander or Colonel Jessup in the movie, and I think it's released in 1993, but that could be the firm. I know it's all wrong, but that's all correct. 92 so, the, is a so the correct answer is Terrence Fletcher, J.K. Simmons, Whiplash in 20. Oh, Jesus oh. Christ. Oh, my yeah, God. No, yes. Was Wasn't even. Damn it. <laughs> I knew. Oh, I knew I heard it. I just like it was one of those ones. I, I literally could not pull it. I kept on trying to think of like who would be put like who in the movie would be pushing somebody. And I was yeah, just trying to think. And, and I kept I thinking, think I kept like, war military, movies. military. Yeah, I kept getting warm all I was thinking. So I, I just landed on a yeah. few good men. And I'm like, it's, I know he didn't say that, but no, I'm just going to say there was. So I, I mean, kept, I've seen the movie a billion times. So I know he I, didn't say that. I kept thinking, whip, I, or I didn't, I kept thinking war movies, war movies, yeah. war movies. And I'm like, well, it's not full metal jacket. It's not, I'm like, what the hell? Like, where, where's somebody getting pushed at? Yeah. I'm like, Jesus, that's what, man, yeah, whiplash. Damn it. I flat out almost put um, Saving Private Ryan. I thought it was yeah. something Tom Hanks might have said, yeah. but I couldn't remember his character name and I couldn't remember his actor name. <laughs> so I'm yeah. Like, I would yeah, it's one of those. Tom Hanks, but I was like, yeah, whatever. All right, guys. So it is oh. still ten to eight going into round yeah. number three, which works like this: it is the movie spin around. Both Sandy and Russ give me three movies they want on the wheel, or we will spin the wheel three times potentially to bring up three different questions. After the the wheel spun, you will then bet between one and three points. You get it right, you gain those points. You miss it, you lose those points. Okay. The movies on the wheel today are. Thanks, Sandy. By the way, for these. <laughs> Back to the future. Uh, Ready Player One, Ghostbusters 84, here we go. On, no. Old School, and Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Yeah, um, I, I maybe I feel four out of six of them I feel decent on. There's only one I'm not really happy about. So. All right, and the spin is in, and it lands on The Wrath of Khan. Good. Hooray! Save this, <laughs> Save Ghostbusters, man. This is the betting round, right? Yes. So you guys will have to bet between one and three points. When you bet, are you, are you are you allowed to redo the spin at all once or no? No. Uh, three, two, <laughs> fuck. one. Russ, how many points are you betting? Oh, this is for me too. Oh yeah, uh, one. Yeah. Absolutely one. Well, I don't even need to write it. Yeah, I forgot. I got to answer this. I'll go three. Thanks, Sandy. <laughs> this is, thanks for this. Sorry. And buddy. Sorry. your question is: What planet does Chekhov think they are on to evaluate before finding out the truth in the Wrath of Khan? 
what planet you said are they what on? planet he thinks they're on, he right? Thinks they're on. Yes. I apologize if my uh, ink is uh, low here. I don't know where the hell the other. I don't know where the hell that other pen is. Yeah, because the one thing your partner is going to do is accuse you of cheating. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> ah. shit. I, I think we're way beyond that in the in the league of uh, seniority here. But yeah. Pins down, Russ. I have Vulcan. That's the only planet I know. So that is incorrect, Sandy. So he ends up being on SETI Alpha Five, but he thinks he's on SETI Alpha Six. That is correct. Because right, that's so, where they dumped Khan off of. All right, so it, it's 11 to 9, correct? I don't know. You're keeping score. Fair. Yeah, <laughs> it was 10-8. You gained 3. Russ lost 1. He was a 10. Yeah. yeah. All right, so it is 11 to 9. Sandy takes the lead going into the second spin, and it's in. This is where this is my always my demise. This fucking round. Come oh, on, no. Jesus Christ! Ready, player one. I'm gonna, I take, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take the heat I, on I, our I team. I put them in in, in <laughs> alternative order, so it's one move for us, one, one move for Sandy. No, it's it's it's, it's two nothing. It's two, it's two for Sandy. <laughs> yeah. Five, four, Fuck. three, two. This did me. This did me the last game too. Pins down, Sandy. I'll go three. Uh, you know, same. you know. I'd, I'd bet zero if I could. <laughs> we don't allow you around here. Watch me get this wrong. Oh, <laughs> and your question is: What horror icon attacks Parsifal then the Oasis players during the final battle of this movie? Okay. Uh... Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Pins down, Sandy. I say Mecha Godzilla. That is incorrect, Russell. What? Is it uh, Freddy Krueger? That's also incorrect. The correct answer? It's fucking Chucky. Oh Jesus Christ! Yeah, it is. It's fucking Chucky. I, I, I am Krueger was gonna... in the. I heard gonna... it was in the fucking uh, scene, though. I remember, like, in the trailer. Ah, uh, you know what? Never mind. All right, so it's eight to... Eight to eight. It's tied, yeah. Yeah. Oh, joy. Now, watch me get... Don't worry, you'll get Wrath of Khan or some <laughs> other bullshit. It's fine. You're good. We'll get the one movie that you picked that I'm not really all that good on, so... Which one is that, by the way? Which ones were there? I can't remember because I Ghostbusters, just... old school, and Back to the Future. Old school. Really? Oh no. Yeah, I, I've watched it like twice. It's probably all I'll ever watch it because I hate oh. Will Ferrell. So, oh yeah, um, yeah, just hate him. Hey, no doctor in the wheel there. <laughs> I'm I'm just taking off the movies that were on there originally. Oh, uh, add a couple more Ghostbusters or something on her. <laughs> All right, got this 8-8 going into the final spin. You ready? Ready. Spin is in. And it lands on... Wow. Bill and Ted's excellent... Oh, my God. Well, now it just now it's just a matter of what we want to bat, because... I mean, I'm going one, because I, I don't know that movie as well as you do. Uh, I'm just scared after missing that goddamn Ready Player One question. I was trying to think when I was doing that, was like, what? Mechagodzilla's not a horror icon. Like, what is he talking it, about? Okay, there's at one point icon. Sho and Daito destroy Jason Voorhees. Um, he's in but I, I, I remember the scene with, with Freddy, so that's the only reason yep. why I kind of just remember yeah. that. The only reason why I wrote it like that was because I consider Chucky a horror icon. Like, yeah, Chucky is a horror that. icon. Yeah, he is an horror cool. icon. Yeah. Just, yeah, so no, no, no. That's why it's a completely correct question. I just pissed off that I missed it. Uh, all right. Two. One. Sandy, how many points you betting? I'm going to go two. Two. Russ, you going one? I'm just going one. All right. So two and one. I wish I watched it. I would I wish I would have watched this movie more recently. So and here, here's how here's here's how it goes, though, Hunter. Don't you gotta give the you gotta give the fans, you know, their if I picked two and Russell picked one. 
there's a winner no matter what. Yeah. If I miss or hit, you win. It's over. Yeah. But if I miss and Russell hits, he wins. Yep. I got to so be ready. I'm, I'm not going to hit, though. Yeah, you too. I'm not going to hit. I, it's been forever since I've seen this movie. The question is, what convenience store do Bill and Ted first meet Rufus? Five, four, branches in three, two, one. Pins down, Sandy. Strange things are afoot at the Circle K. Fuck. Right? <laughs> I had 7 Eleven. You can't even see it. I, did, I definitely did have a 7 Eleven. It's super, super light. <laughs> That's a great guess, man. Yeah. <laughs> and your winner oh, boy. with a score of 10 to 7, Sandy. <laughs> the Sandman Man Robinson. What a match. Sandman, how you feeling, man? I, uh, you know, I'm feeling good. Uh, I, I, you know, I never like beating my friends, but, you know, it's fun when we get to play each other. So, um, you know, Russ is my partner. He's a great guy. He's a great friend. And, you know, as a team, this is why we're good as a team. We both know different shit. And you know it's it's perfect that way. And um, yeah, I uh, I'm just happy, just happy. Worked a long week, didn't have a chance to study. So Russ, that's why those uh, movies were on the board because I know them backwards and forwards, and I didn't have to watch them again. But apparently, I have to watch Ready Player <laughs> One again because I forgot. Fucking Chucky. Um, yeah. So uh, awesome, awesome, awesome. I, I, like I said, I've told you this a million times, Hunter. I, I love the format, even though it fucks me up every single time so, every time i either get all my movies or i we get all the other guys movies it doesn't matter and i can never remember that fifth quote ever ever <laughs> uh that's really winner the sam man sunny robinson and we move on to notorious Russell uh, Howard. man you had a great round one a great round two that round three just came back to bite you man how you feeling <laughs> I mean, that's what happens. I knew my movies, so I was happy about that. Uh, you know, the quotes with, you know, what about Bob and uh, Ghostbusters? I mean, I know, I know my movies inside and out. Kind of what Sandy said. I mean, it comes down to we both know different things. Mm -hmm. um, and at the end of the day, uh, the wheel again gets me. I mean, I, you know, I was up on each of the people that I played against. Sandy, and I, I can't think of the other kid's name I was against. Uh, Chris. And he gets, was that? Chris. Chris. And he gets his movies, all of them, in round three. Same thing with Sandy. I mean... Luck of the draw. I mean, it's like what are the fucking odds? But I mean, it happens. What are you gonna do? Um, just move on from it. But yeah, it was a. It's a. It's a good reason why we are a team because we do know different things. Um, obviously, with like his repertoire of, of movies compared to mine, so it's, it's nice to at the end of the day to do that. So I mean, it's a practice. It's like a tune up for teams almost. But uh, yeah, at the end of the day, he got the W. We played a good match. There you go. Yeah, we would definitely love to have both these great competitors back whenever. They want to play a match. Uh, so if you guys did enjoy this, hit the like button, subscribe to Nerd Internet Networks <laughs> down below. You guys watch, we'll see you.